This video will provide a brief introduction to the assessment editor for HTML5-based assessments. When opening the assessment editor, you will first see the list of questions currently in the assignment. Each question is shown with a thumbnail preview along with customizable columns. Questions can be reordered to the top or bottom of the assignment or to any other location in the list by using the Reorder button. Questions can be removed from the assignment either by selecting them first and then choosing to remove them or by clicking on the three dots icon to the far right of that question in the list. When removing a question for the first time, the instructor will get a pop-up warning before being allowed to complete the action. Instructors can select an option to not show this pop-up each time they remove a question. Clicking on the thumbnail image or title for a question will open a window with a preview of that question. In this preview, the instructor is presented with a solution so as to quickly assess the suitability of the question for their class. From the Solution tab, click the Show Feedback toggle to see what explanation will be given to students. Instructors may click directly on the incorrect feedback drop-down list to navigate through the different predicted mistakes, seeing the unique feedback for each. Likewise, clicking on the question view allows instructors to see the question as presented to students and the free hint. Also from the question view, instructors may enter and check different answers to see what response those answers will trigger. Questions with algorithmic variables will be shown in this window with one set of algorithmic values, but clicking Regenerate Values will cause new values to be randomly selected for each algorithm in the question. Instructors can easily navigate to other questions in the assignment while still in the preview window. As instructors review the questions in an assignment, they can easily remove any questions they do not want to use by clicking on the red button at the top of the view. Remove questions can also be easily added back to an assignment via the blue button at the top of the preview or by locating the questions in the question bank tab of the assessment editor. To open the assignment for a full student-like experience, you can click on the Student Preview button and it will open in a new tab in the browser. You will automatically be given the option to keep your prior attempts, if any, or to reset the assessment preview. It is possible to continue to edit the assignment even while the preview is open in another tab. Each time the question list is edited, you will see a small box appear on the screen for a few seconds informing you as to what action was just taken, along with an option to undo that action. As edits are made in the assessment editor, the assignment preview will automatically update in the other browser tab to reflect those changes. Adding new questions to the assignment can be done on the question bank tab of the assessment editor. Clicking on a preview thumbnail or title will open the interactive preview for that question. The left-hand panel lists the collections associated with the course. Clicking on a collection name expands it to reveal chapters. Clicking on a chapter shows the sections within it, and clicking on a section name drills down to individual topics. The center panel shows all of the questions within the currently selected collection, chapter, section, or topic of the question bank. Selecting one or more questions results in options to add those questions to the bottom of the current assignment. You may also click into the search box to filter it further by title, description, item ID, or use the drop-down menu to filter by question type, difficulty, and more. Via the Grading Settings button on the Assessment tab, instructors can set the visibility and the start and due dates for the assignment. The start date restricts when students are first able to open the assignment. If no start date is set, then the assignment can be opened at any time. The due date determines the last point at which a student can submit work on an assignment. Instructors may choose between several pre-made assignment policies including homework, test slash quiz, unpenalized homework, and student comment quiz. They may also create customized policies by clicking Make Copy in the three dots menu of a policy card, or via the Create New button in order to change the penalty for incorrect answers, allow late work for a penalty, and more. When a new policy is selected, a brief description of the impact of the grading policy settings is shown.